High up above the forests of Munchen Luncheon, four small figures are moving slowly through the snow-capped mountains. It is very cold up there, and they can see the village and castle casserole far in the distance, like a miniature toy town. It's starting to get very breezy as the four climbers, one red, one light blue, one yellow, and one deep blue, make their way higher and higher. I can see who they are now. Fang, Howler, Grizzler, and Gums, the werebears. Whatever are they doing up here in the wind and the snow? Mm, I'm so cold. How much longer do we have to climb these mountains, Howler? Oh, until we lose those nasty terror tents that are trailing us, Grizzler. They've been following us for days, and we can't seem to shake them off. I haven't seen them at all today, though. Neither have I. Maybe they've given up. But we can't be sure. They might even be ahead of us laying a trap. We must keep an extra careful eye out. Yes, I don't want to be thrown off a mountain by one of those terror tests. Do you, Gums? Oh, certainly not, thank The bears have managed to escape the clutches of Witch Hazel's terror tents so far. But how long can they go on? I don't like it this high up. I feel funny. Oh no! Grizzler's fear of heights is starting to get hold of him. Don't look down, Grizzler. It's too late. Oh, I'm changing. Yes. Poor Grizzler is afraid of heights. And when he feels that way, he transforms into his other self, a werebear. I'm fed up with all this walking. Let's have a snowball fight instead. Oh, no, no, Grizzler. We've got to keep on going. Come on, guys. Don't be such spoil sports. And Grizzler starts to throw snowballs at the other bears, who duck and try to get him to stop and calm down. Oh, stop it. <laughs> But the commotion alerts the terror teds who aren't too far away. They look over the edge from where they are standing and see the bears some distance below them. There they are. I thought we lost them. Yeah, well now we found them again. Yeah, right. They're playing snowballs, the babies. Let's give them a snowball to remember. <laughs> With that, all the terror teds begin to build a giant snowball. What can they be up to? Ah, they're going to roll it down the mountain and bury the werebears in an avalanche. How dreadful. There, snap. That should be big enough. Push it down onto those stupid teddies, munch. <laughs> right. My goodness. The snowball is getting larger and larger. It must be as big as a house by now, and it's heading right for the werebears. Oh, what's that noise? Oh, crikey, run for your lives, fellas! <laughs> the four little bears run as fast as their little legs will carry them, but within seconds the avalanche catches up with them. <laughs> And buries them completely. What a terrible thing to happen. <laughs> that was really funny. Uh, now we can report to Witch Hazel that we've got rid of those pesky teddies. <laughs> no, but she won't believe us if we don't take back some proof. We'll have to dig them out again. No, we won't. Look, Fang's cap and gum's bobble hat have been knocked off. They'll do as evidence. Is this the end of Barrel Egg on Bacon Burger's werebears? I wonder. Can you hear a noise under all that snow? <laughs> My word! I quite forgot. Gums can't bear being in an enclosed space. And when the bears were buried in the snow, he became a werebear. <laughs> Just a minute, here's yet another bear. An orange one with a smart cap and blue trousers. He's got pieces of fence panelling on his feet like skis, and he's helping to dig out the bears. Come on, lads, out you get. Gosh, who are you? Oh, he looks like us. 
Only a little bigger. A growler. The Baron sent me out to help you. I'm a bear too. Only I can change whenever I like. Gums has changed back into his ordinary self again, and the avalanche has done the same to Grizzler. But he is starting to look a bit green again as he sees how high up he is. Oh, quick, Gums! Put your hat over Grizzler's eyes so he can't see how high we are! Fang rescues his cap and Gums puts his bobble hat over Grizzler's eyes, just as the Terror Teds come into view. Hi, they're alive! And they're escaping! Hold on to me, fellas. I'm going to try to scare us all out of here. And Gums, Grizzler, Howler and Fang grip tightly onto Growler, who whizzes down the snowy slope on his wooden skis. What a good job the Baron gave him extra strength. <laughs> Just hang on. The five werebears have got round to the other side of the mountain, and they stop and talk. Howler, Gums, Fang and Grizzler chat to their new friend and learn how good old Baron Egan Baconburger has sent him out to help them. You arrived in the nick of time, Growler! Those clever Teds will be back soon, though. They really hate us. Nearby is a cable car station used for carrying the skiers to the top of the mountain in the skiing season. Now it's empty, and the werebears shelter in it. Look at all this machinery. What's it for? Oh, it's used to make the cable car go up and down the mountain. Perhaps we should escape in it. Wait, I've got a better idea. What is it, Growler? Growler tells the other bears his plan, and then he goes outside and pulls up four small fir trees. They put Gums and Fang's hats on two of them, and put the trees in the cable car. No, we send the car off, right, Growler? Right. The noise will alert the terror tents, and they'll think it's us in the car. They'll bring it back to the station to get us, and as soon as they step into the car, we send them back out again. There it goes. Oh, now we hide and wait for the terror tents. It doesn't take long for the bear's enemies to come and investigate the noise. They burst into the station and see the cable car out on the wires. <laughs> Those nasty little bears are in it. Snap! Look, you can see their stupid hats. Honey, we can bring it back. All we have to do is pull this lever. Yeah, it's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> As the cable car comes back into the station, the terror tits make a rush for it, only to find that once inside, they haven't caught the bears at all. Oh, that's funny. They've all turned into fir trees. The werebears have lured the terror teds into the car. And now Growler pulls the lever that sends the cable car back out from the station, with four angry terror teds inside it. <laughs> and they're not at all pleased at being tricked. And Witch Hazel will be furious when she finds out, too. Oh, they're about halfway over the valley. We'll stop the car and leave them hanging there. <laughs> so the terror tents are left, hanging over a big drop in a cable car. And serves them right, too. Now we have to get down off this mountain. Oh, come on. I'll do it, If I see how high up I am, I'll go wild and turn into a weather. Keep hold of my hand and close your eyes, Grizzler. What's that noise? It's a snowstorm! We must hide! Within seconds, the storm hits the werebears. <laughs> and nobody can see a thing. Oh, grab hold of someone's paw so we don't get lost. However, as the storm dies down, the bears get a shock. Howler, Gums, Grizzler and Fang are all holding each other's paw. But Fang is gripping a fir tree with his other paw. Oh, gosh, it's a tree. I thought it was Growler. Oh, where can he have got to? But Growler is nowhere to be seen. He has been separated from his friends by the snowstorm. Oh, well, I've got a funny feeling. We'll see him again before too long. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I hope they're right, because I've got a funny feeling that the Terror Teds will be back again soon, too. Will Growler turn up and save the day? You'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm.